here's the question. Yeah. When our hair is whack, what can we do mm. to accentuate it so that we don't have to worry about the way it looks with a scar? Can you show us anything that we can do different when our hair ain't coming together? Absolutely. When all else fails, honey. Come on. <laughs> Yes. Pony. Okay. Oh, oh, I like that side pony. Ooh, yes. That's cute. Her right. You could do all the wrapping up. I can't believe a, a ponytail is all I've been missing. <laughs> yes, girl. That's Kim. one in their life. So listen, I got get you get your scarves out, ladies. All right. Okay, we got them. Well, quick hair wrap. This is when this is when I go to the grocery store and I go shopping, and I throw her right on. Uh huh. I try to get it. Look, look at Dr. Didi don't want to do it because she don't want to mess up her no, hands. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Right, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, look at what she's doing. Right. No. Right, oh, you can. right. Hold on, I gotta hope all types of hair up here. Uh -uh. <laughs> now you can do it two ways. You can take it and you get this really long and full and wrap it, right? Oh, oh, see, now you're getting real creative. Oh, you look stupid. <laughs> oh, I cannot with you. You look like, like a Bible a character. character. <laughs> <laughs> you always trying to make me. <laughs> Ooh, wait, tied in a little bow. Oh, the bow make Ooh. you look like mom's maybe. No. Right. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. I think I hope our audience got that. Funny. I didn't know what she was oh, doing. Thank you, Holly. Ooh, Kim, that's cute. Okay, Dr. Now, is that a crown of, a, a crown of thorns on your head, Dr. Didi, or is that's that- what it look like it's on your head, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. I did it. Ask Kim. She beat all of us. Kim coming through. Kim came through. Oh, white yeah. African queen and stuff. I love hey, it. Hey, y'all, I, I honest to God, took a picture. I did this one time, and I, I I was feeling myself, and I put myself out there with this thing on, and I mean, I got on every black girl blog on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Yo, I was blasted all over social media because oh, they did not think so I cute. You that you kind of did that easy, okay? Did I did like do that easy. When I was growing up, my mother always told us there was no such thing as good hair versus bad hair, only healthy hair. So, like for our audience members, if you could tell them the two top things that they need to do to keep their hair healthy." Um, and just, you know, on top of their game, what would you tell us? Well, definitely keep it, especially if you have curly hair, keep it conditioned, hydrated. I also, my pet peeve is you got to have some style with healthy hair. So you got to either have it cut into a nice shape. Don't just have some natural hair out there with no shape. A little color to me always adds a little something to it. Right. But you definitely want to keep it cut and you want to keep it hydrated. And one of the ways you can do that with conditioner and hot oil, like I spoke earlier, try not to dry it out. Try not to do too many chemicals. That's going to, I always tell my clients, pick one, relax a color. Don't try to do both. Mm. One of the two. So Kim, real quick, because I know a lot of girls, including myself, I kept, I kept a weed, right? But now I'm like, I feel like it almost can kind of work against you. Like you got to give your hair breaks because like you said, the edge is being braided up. So what's your whole take on weed versus coming up out of a weed? That's good. Mm. Well, that's so interesting that you say that because a lot of my clients have been converted into wigs because they can take it off. Why well, should condition their hair in between? I never like to use the same pattern on the weave over and over again because the hair will begin to wear right in that area. It's great to switch up the look. So I purposely switch up my clients' looks and try to give them something new and different, you know, when they listen. Some of them don't listen. But. Okay. I have a question, Kim. So, like, you know, you do a lot of um, movie stars, a lot of stars, a lot of celebrities, or whatever. I want to know: Have you ever messed one of them up, and they just let you? Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> early in her career, very early in Kim's career. Long time ago. The questions of the stylists. This is, this is the confession of the style. This is the honest truth. I'm so sensitive about my work. I will, before they can even say they don't like it. 
I'd be like, you know what? Let me do something else. Let me change it up. Let me switch it up. You know, I got to beat them to the punch. I can't let them. I didn't notice it wasn't right. You know what I mean? You smart. You smart. <laughs> and so far, I haven't had a really bad, but I, but there's been times where I've had to redo stuff. Or I did something well, listen, on the red carpet that when they used to have the little fashion police, the no, no police, I used to be so afraid of being flagged by them. And a couple of times, some stuff got on the carpet I didn't really like. That was really my biggest fear because then the whole world sees it. Yeah, that's right. Let you me know what? Give me a question on that. On that same thing, you've created a lot of iconic looks. You know, obviously, B and Mary looks that that people have wanted to you know recreate, and then the long pink uh, braids that you did for Nicki Minaj. What would you say is your best look, or you know, the the most favorite of yours that you created? That is so interesting. Wow. I will say, out of a lot of, I've done a, I love a lot of the things that I've done. One of my favorite to me looks was um, the cover of Mary J's breakthrough album with the braid. Oh, it was, it was so different. It was so, mm. it yeah. was so angelic. I really loved that, and, and the photos came out beautiful, and it just worked for her, and she loved it, and she wore it and owned it, and um, I thought that I have to say, there's so many things. I mean, like gosh, some of the stuff I've done on regular time and did different movies and a lot of different class, but that I have to say, that was the first thing popped in my head as one of my favorite looks. 